is there a way that you bring consumer insights into the product is there a way firstly to get consumer insights in and and then is there a way to bake that into the product i'll give you an example right this is one of the uh, recent uh, fgd that we have done what is the fgd uh, focus group discussion okay. and and you you get lo- like lot yeah. of their uh, you know things uh, there itself so we have realized that the the a promotional uh, uh, elements that which is going on the product for example the banner now users automatically know that if it's a banner that's an ad space yeah. uh, right so they tend to skip it <coughs> yeah. so now we are forced to create our promotional banners in in the form of an ui element yeah right? so it has to be like a ui element but how how much you can do uh, you know in a space so like that also erodes trust after a while yeah right? because you need to give discovery for your product uh, right users need to see everything up front there at the same time they don't want to see the ads for that product right so they that becomes like a blind spot so that's another thing that i have no yeah. news i think this is this is the harsh truth and i think a lot of companies have still not understood right at least a lot of performance marketing team that work with creative teams they ask you to put offers and a lot of money is being spent there but frankly think of yourself when you're scrolling through social media in instagram for that matter right you will instantly scroll off something that feels like an ad yeah mm. anything which has big bold text on top of it which yeah. feels like an ad you will just scroll through or like a sponsored post right yeah. if it looks sponsored if it looks ad like your brain is now Very so if you're ha, you're doing basically yeah. putting a lot of money there but right. instead in th- think of the times you actually ended up buying something by instagram right. it was a beautiful product that just caught your attention it is impulse happened because you loved that shirt or you loved that shoe or whatever that product just caught your eye and you ended up buying it not from bintra plat you are actually now going through to much more smaller brands and labels because they are showing you products that you might be interested in mm. Right. I think Flipkart and people are and a lot of people who are putting money I think startups are learning from people like Vintra or Flipkart who had actually done that a lot right that was the entire strategy but consumer behavior has shifted people have learned when to when should my thumb stop yeah. when should my thumb just scroll this is, oh, this is something that I don't want mm. and if you don't change your marketing strategy with this changing m- mindset of people you're going to put a lot of money and see that our just CAC come here it is just not giving us any value we are putting money to we are giving money to facebook and instagram of the world but kuch nikal ke nahi aa raha hamare liye you yeah. have to understand ki logo ko kya when do people stop yeah 100% now even high production videos high production videos and all people know that you know that soft lighting that uh, wes anderson kind of uh, right. situation it's an ad yeah. so doesn't matter you spend 2 crores on it right. the first 2 3 seconds if it's not interesting enough people skip it So whenever I work with small scale influencers uh, and make performance ad with them in their mobile phone that worked well oh, and the high yeah. high yeah. high production yeah. that's yeah. true so I mean actually following up on that basis this pattern shift that has happened in terms of content consumption on Instagram mm. how has that insight impacted your design in the product when I when you're driving traffic from Instagram back into your product mm. So there are features that you would see which is which will resonate very similarly to what Instagram is doing like Cred also has the stories like what Instagram yeah, has yeah. uh people also uh double down on gestures which is hmm. swipes yeah right back into your product yeah. are there some interesting insights there that ha- that you've tried and baked it into your product design so uh, recently one of the uh, uh, project I was working with a company Uh, i was basically uh, uh, revamping their reward experience yeah and and i was actually doing a vertical uh, sorry a horizontal scroll mm. and the people i was working with they really wanted the vertical scroll itself mm. and they were like do people love this i was like i know and that can we do like an fgd and we have done an fgd again and it, They were right. I mean, people love scrolling that infinity. That's scroll. the default behavior that yeah. everyone's very used to. I don't know. It's little dark also because you know people love that numbness. So that's when you said, so for example, in Instagram, you are doing this mindless scroll to get some kind of a comfort. Then in between, you see an ad, and you don't have a control there. For example, if it's a YouTube ad where you can't skip that five second, that five second, you are uh, so. you know people don't want that interruption right 
So, uh, so we done two versions, one vertical scroll and one horizontal scroll. People loved vertical scroll. So, yeah. the yeah. cheapest action is vertical scroll. Yeah. yeah, and in that reward yeah. itself also, like people's expectation when they double tap, there should be a heart icon. Yeah, yeah. Th yeah. that is the expectation. Yeah. So, we also started doing that. So now we are giving that heart button. So whenever they are. Uh, uh, liking it now we know they love to see those kind of offers mm. so we started curating so there's also a feedback mechanism right huh. now yeah. interesting 